Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have the DJI OM4 smartphone gimbal. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile version 4 smartphone stabilizer. Gimbals are usually used by professionals for getting cinematic like footages, but this kind of a smartphone gimbal are very easy to use and it is beginner friendly and it can be used to get a very good cinematic like footages and there are lots of many other functions. In today's video, I'm going to unbox this gimbal and I'll show you how to connect this gimbal to your smartphone using the DJI. DJI Mimo app and I'll show you the beginner friendly usage guides for this gimbal and I also compare the videography of my mobile phone using the gimbal and without the gimbal and you can see the difference how the performance of the gimbal is. So this new gimbal has the magnetic quick mount and it was not available in the previous versions and it is foldable and it also has all the functions available from the previous gimbals that is the active tracking and the quick roll function and gesture control as well as story mode. It also features the dolly zoom function and you have to use the gimbal using the DJI Mimo app. It is available both in Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store. So let's unbox it and see what is there inside. So the packaging is really nice. It has some basic instructions on the cover here and it says create magnetic moments because it has a magnetic mount. Let's check what is there inside this one. So this is the storage bag and you can carry the gimbal using this bag and it is the lanyard you can attach to the gimbal. So there are a lot of documentation here and this is the user's guide and you have most of the languages here. Let's keep it aside. And this is the magnetic ring holder. This one you should attach to your mobile phone. So you have a mobile phone like this and then you need to use this guide. This is the alignment guide. You don't need to be very specific but uh, you can just use the alignment guide to make sure it is in the middle of the cell phone and you can attach it like this. But I'm not going to use it for now. And they also provided some additional stickers if you want to remove and attach it to another phone. And coming to the gimbal here. So this is the magnetic clamp. And they also provide some sticker to raise the platform. For example, if you have a very thin or small phone, then you need to raise the platform. Okay, that is good. And this is the gimbal itself. It weighs 433 grams and it has an inbuilt battery that will last around 15 hours. And it has a Type-C charging port here. So that is good. And this is the mini tripod and it has the Type-C cable and that's it. Let's keep the box aside. So the magnetic clamp will work like this. So put it on your mobile phone like you put any clamp. I think it is better if you clamp it in the middle of your mobile phone because it may consume more power if it is trying to balance the phone all the time. So that's how the clamp works. And then once you have that, you can unfold this gimbal like this and you can attach your phone on the gimbal like this so that's it and it is very strong and i think it is not going to fall off and there are a lot of warning stickers here so you can peel it off after reading them carefully and in order to fold it just fold it like this so it is a very snappy and is quite good and there is no 360 degree rotation because of the uh, foldable design you can turn it on by pressing the m button for quite some time now the mobile phone has been balanced to your gimbal and these are the battery indicators currently it is 75 percent charged and to turn it off, you can press the M button again. And now it is off. You can unsnap the mobile phone and fold it. So like this. And let's see the other accessories. So you can screw this mini tripod at the bottom of the gimbal like this. And it will stand like this. And let's check the cable length. The cable length is 90 centimeters. And this lanyard you can easily attach to the gimbal like this. And you can also attach any other tripod and this is the standard screw size. So it has one 18650 lithium ion battery inside and that is uh, 2450 milliamp hour. And if your mobile phone needs charge, then you can charge it from here. And that is quite a good function. And for charging the gimbal, you can use any USB-C cable like this. When it is charging, it will show the LED indication like this. So I have installed the DJI Mumo app from the Google Play Store. Now I'll go outdoors and show you how to use all the features of this gimbal. Now I'll show you the instructions. I'll attach my phone to the gimbal like this. Once it is properly attached, then you can turn it on by pressing the M button. It has stabilized the mobile phone. Now let's open the DJI Mimo app. And here you can see that it has found the DJI device and it has been connected. It connects automatically and now you can see that the camera is on. This is the portrait mode and if you want the landscape, then you can double tap on the M button like this. If you single tap it, 
then you can switch between photo and videos and if you press this M button until you hear a beep then it will be in standby mode like this so this is a standby mode you can press it once to activate it this red button the camera button is for clicking pictures or starting a video so you have taken a picture and then if you want to take a video then you can start it and it is now recording and you can stop it and this button this joystick here is for moving the mobile phone in any direction so you can move left you can move right and you can move up and you can move down and it is very smooth and it's very nice so that is the function of this button when you are recording you can use this feature and there is a button in the left side this is for zoom in and zoom out so you can zoom in or zoom out so that is the function for this uh, button and then uh, there is another button in the back this button so if you press and hold then it will be in the lock mode so your phone will not move if you press and hold it and if you click this button once and if you hold it then it'll enter the sport mode it's entering the sport mode your mobile phone will move quite faster than the normal mode so that is the sport mode and if you want to start or stop active tracking then you should press it once like this then the active tracking has been started and you can stop it by pressing it once and if you press this button twice then it will recenter the phone like this then it is at the center of the gimbal and if you press this button three times then it will switch between the front camera and the back camera it has switched between the front and the back camera and one more function that you should know is in the portrait mode if you want to shoot very low then you have to turn this gimbal 90 degrees like this you can see now the camera has gone below and you can shoot very low so that's good and if you go right back up like this then it will go to the previous state so those are the functions of the buttons in the gimbal now let's check some of the features in the app the first feature is active tracking so if you press the button behind the gimbal once then it will start active tracking and you have to select the object like this so now it is currently active tracking the object you can start the recording So that was the active tracking function and I think it works very well. And then you can take panorama here. So if you go to panorama, then you can take a, a panoramic view. Pano. So this is the panoramic view and it looks very nice. And in panorama, you can select either 3x3 or 240 that I have already shown you. Let's take the 3x3. So this is the 3x3 panorama and it's quite good. Now let's try the clone me feature. Now let's try Dyna zoom. This is the dolly zoom effect. So you need to select an object for Dyna zoom and it will give you the instructions whether to move in or move out. So let's try that. This is the Dyna zoom zoom out function and you have to select the object and then once you have selected the object you can start recording and you have to move out from the object. This was the Dyna zoom effect we just recorded now. Now I'll capture some videos using my mobile phone with the gimbal and without the gimbal for comparison and you can see the difference. The Hyperlux feature will function like active tracking and you need to select an object and the gimbal will track the object during the hyperlapse recording.
I'll capture some hyperlapse and time lapse videos using the gimbal and I'll show you the videos. That was the review of the DJI OM4 smartphone gimbal and this gimbal is very beginner friendly and it is easy to use and the magnetic mount works quite well and it is very easy to detach and attach the mobile phone unlike previous versions. There are certain things that I want to tell you about the gimbal. One thing is that when you fold you should make sure that these align properly so that it will fold completely. For example it has a mechanism here to lock the gimbal when it is folded so you should be careful regarding that and another thing that I want to tell you is regarding the magnetic mount so this magnetic mount it works quite okay like this but it needs to be at the center of your phone and this one can move like this left and right so when you attach the mount like this you should be making sure that it is in the middle of the smartphone otherwise it will not be able to stabilize it properly and sometimes the mobile phone will tilt in an angle or even in the landscape mode it will tilt in an angle so that is the case and this sticking magnetic mount should be attached to your mobile phone directly and not to your case if it is attached to the case it will not work the gimbal may vibrate and it doesn't stabilize properly even this mount doesn't work properly when there is a case over this mobile phone and those are the main things that we need to be careful of while using this gimbal i hope you find the video useful and like the review this gimbal is very nice and if you want to purchase it please purchase it from my affiliate link given in my video description it will support my channel please like and share the video and thank you for watching please consider subscribing i'll see you next time